Jordan Concords, many people's holy grail of Jordans. Come out today, you ready? Today, I'm gonna show y'all a quick, simple technique, or the technique that I use. It might be a technique on how not to get them, but I've been able to get all the days that I wanted. It's pretty simple. Man. Boom, Tone Jack. All I do is open up one page on finish line, one page on Nike.com. You see the time right there? Do it. 9.53, so do it's about to it. drop at 10. Do it. All I'm gonna do is refresh, do it. and that should put me in the virtual do line. It. But between do Nike it. and finish line, bruh, you normally I always get it done. So we gonna see. Let's go ahead and see what we looking like. Wow. Shoes so fresh, you gotta wait to get them. So all I did was hit refresh. Okay, so I put in my info, you feel me? Thought I had one in the bag, but it said we'll notify you in a moment whether you get it or not. So it ain't guaranteed right now, bro. So that joint's still like that. That's always my backup though. I ain't closing that window. That's what it look like right there. I ain't closing this window until I get an email or some kind of verification on this side from Nike.com that says, hey, you good. So you gonna keep these going and I give you an update when they let me know or let me not know what's going on. Okay, with nobody say these joints right here, straight slapping. So I'm about to grab a few of these right up. I'm gonna get right. Sounds disgustingly gross, like something you get from the fair or something. Let go. And finally, the finish line page pulled up for us. Let me go ahead and hit that big boy size 12. I've worked with finish line enough to know that. Once you on the site, once you in there, you in there, bruh. You good. I think I might even be able to order, order multiple pairs. Now I got this right here, but I already ordered these. So now I'm kind of tight. Now I'm like, yo, for the most part, once you're on the site, you good. And once you got everything in your cart, you straight. So Nike came back and said they had an issue processing our payment and look right below the highlight, y'all. Size 12, gone. That's why you keep both of them open. I could have said, oh, I won, I got them. Nah, bruh. You have to do both. What's up, baby? It's okay. We got him. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. And they are in. Here we go. We got the box right here. This is a slightly unusual box for the 11s, at least the recent releases of the 11s. So you got a nice little Air Jordan logo up there. Size 12. So we right on there. Now let's go ahead and open them up. Hey, here we in there. Here we in there. I wish the box was like the other 11s. Well, the, the other box for the 11 kind of annoying to open, but it make it feel a bit more special. But here they are. Oh, so classic. So beautiful. 45s on the back, not 23. 45. Your research kind of jump man over here on the side. Let me get in that thing close for y'all a little bit so you can really see what's going on. So boom, we got this right here. Got the bottom looking clean. Boom, the bottom. I mean, it's classic. I ain't doing no on feet because everybody know what these joints look like on feet, man. Inside actually got the Nike Air. There we go. Might be able to see it a little bit. And just like that, we got the classic, the Concords. Now I, I went and actually got in line for some Concord Lows. Man, it wasn't but a few women and kids in front of me. And like one short dude, bro, I went up there and said, let me get a size 12. They talking about we out. How? How, bro? How? Anyway, after that, I was done with lining it up. Using this method, I was able, I've been able to get all the shoes that I wanted, except the super, super, you know, exclusive releases. But for the most part, all the recent releases have been general release for the most part. It ain't been too hard to get none of them. So. It's crazy that people be getting bodied over these, you know, in the past. Hopefully not this time around. I saw there was a few, you know, a few locations that was going crazy where people was lining up trying to get them and everything. But it's crazy what people go through for some shoes. But these, they are fire though. They are fire. But still, man, it ain't never that serious over no shoes, you feel me? But I'm happy with them. For real, for real, I don't even know why I'm wearing I don't know when I'm wearing because I ain't like everybody else. I, when I get it, I don't like to wear it right out of the box that day. To me, that just ain't it. That ain't cool. When people do, well, I ain't gonna say it ain't cool. If you get some shoes by, I ain't gonna say that. But for me personally, it's just like a lot of people wear it just to play. Say, hey, look, I got the newest, most exclusive Jordans. For me, I like to wait till everybody then warm out, they beat up, they beat down. 
keep them, I keep mine on ice for normally at least about a year to keep it 100 with you. And then I pull them out and they like, whoo, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't got them on no more. But right now, everybody that got them gonna be wearing them, showing them off, hey, check them out. You know what I'm saying? I like to hold mine off and then pull it out a year, if not more later. You know what I'm saying? Call me crazy, but that's just what I like to do. These are a lot of people's holy grails right here, man. These are, you know, quite possibly the most famous and revered Jordans of all time. Not necessarily this rendition, of course, but just this particular styling. I mean, it's debatable. You could say the ones they started at all. You could say 12. You could say, you know, everybody got their, you know, their own choices and decisions as far as what they consider the, the dopest Jordans of all time, but in general, most people have seen these joints before and known that people go crazy over these before. But I mean, it ain't too much to it, for real, for real. I mean, it's pretty simple, it's straightforward, just beautiful. People wear it to prom, people done wore these in their weddings, just everything, you know what I'm saying? It's just real nice. As you can see, the method work is work for me most of the time. It's just Nike.com, FinishLine.com, open both of them joints and I've been good. I ain't missed no releases. Even though the later releases for the past, I don't know, for me at least what they're saying like the past year or two ain't really been hard to get anyway you know it ain't been too limited jordan was like okay the company was like Let, let's make a little bit more so people don't go so crazy over them but hey it is what it is man the methods always work for me give it a try see if it works for you it's never that serious i ain't lining up no more that's what i do i ain't lining up but anyway you let me know if you got your pair of these do you like these do you agree that these are the most revered Jordans of all time? If not, what uh, what Jordans do you consider the greatest, most revered, most famous, most popular, whatever? Put it down in the comment section below. Personally, my favorite Jordans of all time are 13s, by the way. So baby Jazz, what you think about these right here, man? So he's trying to put them on. You know, look, he got the foot out and ready. There you go. You were the first one to put your foot in there. There you go. Baby Jet with the on foot. Like I said, I ain't put them on feet. Baby Jet with. For all y'all that wonder what they look like on foot. There you go. So he giving it the quality control inspection right now. Make sure right. He about to run off with my shoe, y'all. I'ma need my shoe back, brother. You crazy. He done ran off with my shoe for real. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. It's been Q the QT Couple. And until next time, peace. Get my shoe back.